Hello everyone, it's Queen V and I'm back to you with another video. This video is about missing persons, Nia Sandra Rash of Pennsylvania and Leslie Obi of Texas, who is also a mother of five. So let's dive right in. As it pertains to Nia Sandra Rash, she has been missing since December 28th. 2022 as she was reportedly last seen at a pet bus stop on Frankstonstown Road and Duff Road in Pence Hills wearing a black coat with fur on the hood, gray sweatpants and light Ugg boots. Again, Nia Sandra Rash was last seen on December 28th, 2022 at a pat bus stop on Frankstown Road and Duff Road in Pence Hills wearing a black coat with fur on the hood, gray sweatpants, and light Ugg boots. According to Nia Sandra Rash's family, she requires her medication which she left behind when she left her residence. If you or anyone have information about Nia Sandra Rash's whereabouts, please call 911 or the Penns Hills Police Criminal Investigation Division at 412-342-1167. Again, it's 412-342-1167. For information regarding Nia Sandra Rash's whereabouts as she is in need of her medication. As it pertains to Leslie Obi, mother of five, she was last seen last week on January 11th, 2023. Again, Obi was last seen last week on the 11th, 2023. According to reports, Leslie Obi was last seen near Charleston Park Drive near Highway 90 in Southwest Houston. According to Texas EquiSearch, which had volunteers looking for Leslie near Lay Road on the northeast side of the city. According to family members, Leslie's phone is going to voicemail and it is not like her to disappear for days without calling someone to let them know she's okay. According to investigators, they do not suspect foul play in her disappearance, but her family has seen this unfortunate incident before back in 2001 when their relative Larry Gullery went missing and was later found unalive. With Leslie's disappearance in 2023, it's bringing back up bad memories for the family. Now you will watch this brief news clip, and I will be back with more commentary. Hour. Her family's concerns are simply growing and growing for her safety. As you mentioned, she was last seen on the southwest side of town, but Texas EquiSearch had volunteers looking for her near Lay Road, which is on the northeast side of the city. Family members say that Obi's phone is going to voicemail, and it's not like her to disappear for days without at least calling someone, checking in, to let them know that she's okay. Right now, police do not suspect foul play in her disappearance, but this family has seen something like this before. In 2000, a cousin named Larry Guillory went missing and was later found dead. As you can imagine, the disappearance of Leslie Obi is bringing back a lot of bad memories for the family. It hits home for us because it's kind of like it's deja vu of it happening yet again. And we're all here again as a family trying to locate yet another cousin. 
We're told that Obi did not pick up her paycheck on Friday, something else that is out of the normal for her. Police in Texas Equisearch are asking anyone who may know of her whereabouts to call HPD. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13. I would just I truly believe that investigators are undermining this missing person's case. This mother of five, I repeat, this mother of five is going on days without having contact with her children and her family members and even her job. She did not even pick up her paycheck. And investigators are undermining this missing person's case by stating they do not suspect foul play in her disappearance. This is what I mean when I state we have to start changing the attitude towards missing person's case. This is a mother of five. Her children are in need of their mother. She has never done this before. Her phone is going to voicemail. This is out of character. Something occurred to Leslie Obi, and investigators are trying to downplay this disappearance. Again, according to the National Crime Information Center, approximately 90,000 plus black girls and black women are currently missing. We are literally in a state of an emergency where our daughters, our friends, our neighbors are going missing. And we still are seeing the same reoccurrence of attitudes towards missing persons cases as it pertains to black people. I've said this before and I will say it again. If we treat missing persons cases as criminal cases, we will see a dramatic shift in attitudes towards these cases as they come forward. And I will say it one more time, and I'm going to continue stating this phrase. We must be mindful of not spreading misinformation and disinformation as it pertains to missing persons cases as it does have a impact on ongoing investigations and it does affect the missing persons family as they are going through this difficult period. We claim we listen to black women. We claim we protect black women, but on a daily basis, we dismiss the alarms which ring every day. I will leave in the comments and description below for numbers as it pertains to information about Nia Sandra Rash of Pennsylvania and Leslie Obi of Texas in addition to organizations and hotlines as it pertains to missing persons. Say their names known and unknown, find Nia Sandra Rash, find Leslie Obi, find our people. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.